Did you know Worthington was founded a full nine years before Columbus? Hey, what's up guys? Andy Howe here, local real estate agent. You talked, I listened. I've been hearing from so many of you every week about, hey, make a video about Worthington, review the neighborhood. So this is that video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Before we get into the video though, please reach down, hit that subscribe button. It means so much when you do that. It lets us know we're on the right track and that you're valuing the content we're creating. So uh, Worthington, like I said, founded a full nine years before Columbus. Way back in 1802, 16,000 acres were purchased around what was then called the Whetstone River. Today, we call that the Olentangy River. And within a year of purchasing the land, people went to work clearing the land to make way for settlers either looking to bid on the land or to be given the land here in Worthington. The city gets its name from Thomas Worthington, which was one of Ohio's first two senators. Tons of history here. Worthington has actually the oldest building in uh, continual commercial existence. Right down here, uh, 679 uh, High Street, James Kilborn started a newspaper business there. He was actually the founder of Worthington. And yeah, that building, that's so old. So as you can see, tons of history here. That is only one of the reasons why people love it here, right? Worthington is located on uh, just south of 270 here, uh, High Street between 315 and 71. So super conveniently located. Why do people really like it here though? Well, tons of reasons. I mean, you've got uh, tree-lined streets, rolling hills, ravines, parks. It's a very neighborly here. You got clean and well-kept homes. There are just tons of variety and activities here in the area and that all starts right here in downtown Worthington. Milk and cookie happy hour. Free milk or coffee with the purchase of a cookie. I mean, as you can see, this is a cute little historic area. You can almost visualize what this looked like 200 years ago. Probably not that different, maybe not as colorful, right? The Worthington Inn, sadly not functional anymore, but used to be a really great restaurant here in Worthington. The building's still super cool. I'm curious what they're gonna put here. When, when I think of Worthington, I think right here in downtown Worthington, there's shops, there's bars, there's boutiques, there's great restaurants like the Whitney House. You've got uh, G. Gilbert's, you've got Cameron Mitchell's, you've got the Half Pint. One of my favorite restaurants here in Worthington is, is Dewey's Pizza. And if you haven't checked it out, definitely come and check it out. Their crust, it is, it's something special. It's almost like a donut or a cake. It's really delicious. And if you have kids, definitely bring them here, or even if you don't. But if you do have kids like me, they love coming and they've got this window where you can see back the guys making the pizza, they're spinning it, kind of doing tricks um, to entertain the kids. So it's, it's definitely worth it. You got graders right across the street, so check out their new flavors. Another place I really love is Natalie's Coal Fired Pizza just down the hill here great live music venue, great coal-fired pizza as well. Tons of great restaurants here. And there's tons of activities to do outdoors here as well. The Olentangy River is still a central part of Worthington and there's actually a bike path. You can ride all the way to downtown right there. You've got uh, parks like Antrim Park uh, located right off the bike path. And you've got one of my favorite metro parks in the whole city is High Banks. We're just two miles from where we are right now. So tons to do outside. There's also tons of shopping, as I mentioned. You've got all these boutiques right here. And then there's a mall actually just up near 270. So tons of things to do here. There are lots of families in the area and it's easy to see why. I mean, you've got super low crime and fantastic schools. I mean, tons of options here. You've got Worthington Kilbourne, Thomas Worthington, Worthington Christian, Evening Street Elementary. I'm forgetting a few for sure, but just know that they're all rated as excellent. And actually the Worthington School District is, is much larger than Worthington proper where we are right here. In fact, you can kind of get the best of both worlds here in Worthington. You can be within Worthington School District bounds, but maybe you're only paying Columbus taxes, which are certainly lower than Worthington. 
Um, so if you choose to own, I would say, you know, look into that or at least be aware that that's an opportunity. Another great amenity to the area is the Worthington Rec Center. It is a community center with uh, programming for adults and children alike, anything from pottery to yo uh, yoga. There's also a fantastic indoor pool there that has like a kid's playground area. There is a vortex, there's a lazy river. So definitely hit that up. Probably in the winter is a better time to go when you get a little itch to maybe be in the water. It's the pool's heated and everything. So home ownership is really high in the area. In fact, about 80% of all the residences here are owned by homeowners. What about the real estate? What really can you expect here? Well, there are tons of different little neighborhoods in the area and each have their own you know, different vibe. And so I just wanted to kind of do a, a generalization of the different areas and what you might expect from each. And, and to me, when I think of Worthington, this is the area that I think of, the downtown Worthington area and all the areas that surround this. And so let's start there. I mean, downtown uh, Worthington, old Worthington, as I mentioned before, we're super walkable here. Uh, all the neighborhoods surrounding this, you could probably walk to school. You can get to the bike path super easily. You know, homes here are, there's a wide variety of homes, anything from like legit mansions all the way down to starter homes. But just, you gotta know that the starter homes don't necessarily come with starter prices. This area is definitely the uh, most expensive area in Worthington, at least from a price per square foot basis. But if you go j just across the river over to Linworth, you can almost feel like you're in the country over there. You've got larger lots, tons of trees, there's parks and stuff over there, and just kind of removed from the hustle and bustle. And then uh, moving on further up towards uh, the Crosswoods slash Flint area, um, that's kind of on the northeast quadrant of of Worthington and it pushes up there towards that south side of Polaris area. If you're not familiar with Polaris, there's tons of shopping and entertainment up there. I mean, you've got things like Top Golf, you've got loads of restaurants, there's a couple of Bellas up there, there's an IKEA, but I'll save that, you know, kind of in-depth review for for the uh, Polaris neighborhood uh, or area review, but just know that that Crosswoods Flint area um, does tend to be the most the, the least expensive at least in the Worthington area. Uh, you'll probably get the best value up, up near that way. And then if you go kind of to the northwest quadrant, you've got the Worthington Hills, Smoky Ridge area kind of butting up towards um, uh, the Dublin sawmill area. Just know there, there are a wide variety of homes here in Worthington. And they do tend to be a little bit more expensive than Columbus in general. You can expect to pay anywhere between like say, you know, 200,000 all the way up to 500,000 for most homes in Worthington. Of course, you could spend uh, more than that. Probably gonna be hard to spend anything less than that. But in my mind, you know, Worthington here is certainly one of the more expensive areas in Columbus, but I think rightly so. I mean, as I mentioned, you've got, you've got great schools. You've got great walkability, great access to restaurants and entertainment. It just, it's super convenient. Like no matter where you work, in Columbus, if you live in Worthington, your morning commute, your afternoon commute is going to be super easy. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know uh, what your favorite area of Worthington is. Let me know what you thought about the video. And uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out. You know, I hear from you guys every day from all over the country. You're curious about Columbus, you're moving to Columbus, and I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions, please let me know how I can help. Thanks for watching guys and make it a great week.